What's going on, everybody? My name is Manly92, and I'm bringing you yet another gameplay commentary. This time, some Team Deathmatch on Hanoi. Now, uh, what I want to talk about this commentary is two things. Uh, one was some unusual goings-on that were occurring yesterday during my little gaming session that I had. And uh, the new map pack that they released a trailer for. So, uh, let's get started right here. First off, I'm going to talk about the class that I'm using, if it'll come up on the screen anytime here. There it is. Uh, I'm rocking the AUG with the ACOG scope, and the Siberia camo with, of course, I gotta rock my clan tag and my emblem on there, just because I'm that awesome. <laughs> uh, so right off the bat, me and this dude here, across, the, as you can see, down, down range, I guess, of me, we get in this nice little gunfight. Now, there are some casualties. Uh, in our gunfight, but it was not me or him, <laughs> the dude in the window to my left there. Unfortunately, he did not make it to this battle, so God rest his soul. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a good way to start a match, just getting into a nice gunfight. So I figured that was enough mention. But, uh, so on some unusual thing. Oh, first of all, I want to say what contract, or not contract, uh, what killstreaks I'm using. Uh, I'm using the counter spy plane, the care package, and the, uh, the attack chopper. And I'm also using Hardline, as you can see right there when my first killstreak came up. But, uh, so yeah, I'm re-rolling care packages like a beast, and, uh, <laughs> you'll see that it works out well for me. But, anyway, uh, something that was weird that was going on yesterday, I usually don't run into a mass amount of campers or anything like that, anything that usually makes me rage, but, uh, I tend to keep my emotions in check when I play Call of Duty, unlike some other people freak out a lot, but uh, it, it, it's nothing huge, but yesterday was not the best day for me, and I was trying to figure out, why is everyone just sitting in a corner, why is everyone just lackadaisically not doing anything and just chilling out here and waiting for people to walk by, uh, I was confused for quite some time, and then the date came into my mind, and <laughs> I said, oh, Today is 420. Of course, people are too high to run around and actually play the game, so uh, they just sit in a corner and <laughs> take a toke off the bong while they wait for somebody to walk onto their screen. But <laughs> And uh, to interrupt my story, Chopper Gunner without re-rolling, so <laughs> that's very convenient, and I usually insult people who get high kill streaks out of care packages, but this time it happened to me, so <laughs> I'm... I think it's just a good, convenient thing, and I'm just going to laugh at it because I'm a lucky bastard, but, <laughs> yeah, so basically another thing I wanted to say was the map pack came out, uh, I'm going to finish my story about the the potheads playing Call of Duty because, that uh, wasn't that interesting, I just found it quite comical that, <laughs> that that's probably the reason why there's so much camping going on, but, uh, and the new map pack, they actually released a trailer for it, uh, and it wasn't leaked this time, it was actually legit released, and that's some nice shooting by me not killing myself and taking out two guys in the process, but uh, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to, as I said, Zoo is a very good map, or looks like a very good map, of course I haven't played it yet, but uh, so it is looking pretty good, it is a Russian Zoo, I think I made a joke about that in my other commentary, but uh, uh, also another good one that I'm liking is, I think it's Stockpile, it has the the bay doors that you can pretty much lock down the middle building, and that's the interactivity of the map. So I think that's a pretty good idea, although it might promote camping, but I can't tell that right now. So, uh, plus I don't know how difficult it is to open the doors once if you're locked outside. So, uh, that might be a problem, and it might also be something awesome, and it's probably going to be uh, change the dynamic of Call of Duty a lot, because it'll be more like a real war, I think, where you're actually fighting for a position instead of just running around and uh, spraying and teabagging, which is not realistic at all. <laughs> so, I am kind of looking forward to that, although it might add for slower gameplay, but I think it'll be a change of pace and a little less rage-worthy <laughs> like Call of Duty has been lately. But, uh, the gameplay is wrapping up here. There's the last kill right there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it. But uh, 21 and 1, that's a pretty good KD for me. Although the chopper gunner was probably a lot of help in that high KD. <laughs> so uh, if you are not yet subscribed to me, please do that. I would greatly appreciate it as I'm nearing 100. And it's a bit of a milestone. So 
Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.